we're building the TTV and we're building the booster stage. And uh, that's what this was right here. Um, and in our last episode, we had built and assembled the engine mount. And now it is time to install this into the tube. Uh, first, take that shock cord and we're going to just pass it back through the inside and pull it out the back just so that it gets it out of the way. Um, this is going to get glued into here. Um, the back of the ring um, will be flush with the tube. Um, and you want to look through those slots, make sure that the slots are clear so that your fins will go through nicely like that. Um, also, make sure that the engine hook itself is between two of the slots um, because if it's in one of the slots, it's going to be hard to get one of the fins in. So I'm going to uh, put some glue on a dowel and uh, that will allow me to um, get glue uh, right here where that ring is going to go. So I'm going to kind of mark my dowel um, how deep I want to put it in. All right, so. When you put glue on the dowel, keep it spinning or all the glue is going to end up on your table. Okay, I got a nice line of glue around there. Um, so I'm going to wipe this off. And I'll put another line of glue, a thinner line, here on the very back. Okay, so then when you put your uh, motor mount in, kind of put it in sideways to get past that first line of glue. And slide it in. And again, you make sure that that engine hook is between two of the fins and that uh, you can see into the tube. You can you know double check with a fin to make sure that each of the slots is clear and it will go in. All right, so this has to sit and dry because right now it's pretty loose. Uh, but that takes us to step um, 52 where we're going to glue the fins in. Um, I have already gone and airfoiled the fins. Um, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I, then I decided, I, I think, you know, to match the upper stage, I did airfoil them, which is fine. So go ahead and do that. Um, and then our next step, we're going to um, glue in the fins, but I want to let this dry for a little bit to make sure that uh, this engine mount doesn't slide around on me. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to start putting the fins in. And like we did on the upper stage, I'm going to use a fin jig just to make sure that my fins, they're, they're perpendicular to the tube and not crooked like that. Um, it just looks nicer. It'll fly just fine if they're crooked because they are straight. They're just tilted. Uh, but it, it'll fly fine, but it won't fly perfectly straight. Um, so as before, let's put uh, glue on the bottom of these uh, fins. It's kind of a, a little bit too much, but uh, it's probably ooze out a little bit. They are a little bit floppy, so the fin jig will help straighten them up. 
Oh, I got the wrong fin jig. <laughs> there are two different sizes. This is the uh, BT55 that I should have. This is the BT60. So um, I'm going to pause here, quickly grab that uh, while my glue is still wet and get those fins locked in place. <laughs> Now that I have the correct uh, fin alignment jig, uh, I'll put it, slide it in. Make sure all the fins will slide in. And as before, we're going to have to shim this um, because this is uh, three six, three thirty second inch plywood instead of eighth inch. Okay, I got all the shims in and I just make sure that all the thin, the root edges are touching the tube. Just make sure you press down hard. I think this one shim came out. All right, and I'm gonna smooth out any glue that oozed out keep the shims out of the glue. Just double check them. Okay, so that takes us through step 52. Um, and step 53 is to remove um, this little piece from the wood and also the launch lug and this is going to be glued on there like that. Um, there's a little notch here right at the tip uh, where the launch lug will nest up against. And this uh, piece of two or a piece of wood is kind of bendy, so uh, be, make sure that it's straight along the tube. Okay, so we'll pause here. So we'll pause here and in our next step, uh, we'll glue this onto that once those fins are dry.